The real children of God are holy, and they're filled with God's love. They're filled with His righteousness. They are a special people because they do not have the spirit of the Antichrist, the spirit of the world. They're not going around saying love, love, peace, peace. Accept homosexuality. Accept the world agenda. Accept all these things that the world accepts. The true children of God are not lying to people about their eternal destination, saying that all churches are are good and that pastors are holy. The real children of God look nothing like the world. They keep themselves unstained from the world because they have the love of Jesus in them. They do not talk like the world, act like the world. They do not listen to the garbage music or the garbage TV or the gar- garbage movies that the world promotes. They keep themselves separate. If someone looks like the world, talks like the world, sounds like the world, but says they're a child of God, they are deceived. Don't be deceived by them. Many Christians, almost all of them, approaching all of them, are worldly. They think they're going to heaven because they believe things about Jesus. But they're not truly the children of God. They haven't been reborn. They don't have on their white robes. They're not wearing righteousness. They're impure and spotted. Jesus is not coming for a whore. He is not coming for a spotted, dirty bride. Make sure that you keep yourself unstained from the world, and. Don't be deceived by Christians, so-called Christians, who live unholy, who think they're relating to the world by their dirty humor, by their ungodly choice of clothing, and by taking God's name in vain and everything they do and say. Be separate from Christians who live unorderly, disorderly. Be separate from the world that lives an impure life. Jesus is coming for a holy and a pure bride. Keep yourself unstained for Him. May the grace of Jesus be with you.